Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing about the patch contents and what does ADOP do exactly. First we'll be seeing how to download a patch. Then we'll be seeing what is the responsibility of ADOP and what are the activities that are done by ADOP. Then we'll also see the important files that are there in a regular patch. The first important thing is how to download the patches. If you have already got experience in Oracle, any of the Oracle technologies, then you should know this already by this time that all the patches need to be downloaded from support.oracle.com. And remember that the support.oracle.com access is not available for everyone. It is not a free account to create and download the patches. You need to be either a customer or a partner in order to access the patches. If you do not have access to the patches or basically if you do not have access to the portal, you cannot download the patches. So, in some cases, you might have an ID to log in, but still, you, should, you might not be able to actually download the patches. Why is it so? Because remember that every customer will have a CSI, which, which is customer support identifier. And even partners are also having generally one CSI assigned to them. So, unless you have a CSI assigned to you, you will not be able to access the Oracle support. And even in some cases, each of these CSA accounts have administrators and these administrators control the access to a particular user. For example, I have a company called X. Under the company X, there is an employee called A. And there is an employee called B. Let's assume that A is the administrator of this account. And A manages the CSA account, that is the customer support identifier. And he has access to all the activities because he is the administrator of the account. And once he logs in, what he does is he creates the account called B, the user called B. And the user B can log in. But A has to give the permissions for this user to download the patches. This is how you have to download the patches from support.oracle.com. Now once you download the patch, you usually get a zip file. That is with the naming convention P, the patch number .zip. So what does ADOP do exactly? The responsibility of ADOP is to first copy files from the patch directory to EBS file system. What does it mean exactly? When you download the patch, the main purpose of the patch is to basically bring new features or to fix any of the existing bugs. Which means that to fix existing bugs or to get new features that is enhancement of the features, you'll be getting new files along with the patch. And these files are copied from the patch top, that is a location where your patch is there, to the EBS file system. For example, I have a .sql file which is related to HR product. So this .sql file, the new file, will be copied from the patch directory to the EBS file system by ADOP. The next important thing is, once it copies the files, then on the database if there are any actions, it will perform them. For example, once the file is copied, the .sql, it has to be executed which means there is a database activity. And finally, it also generates files. For example, there are new forms that is .fmb files that are copied to the file system from the patch to the EBS file system. Then it has to generate the forms. Similarly, it will generate the forms, reports, jar files, any message files, etc. These are the activities which are performed by ADOP. The same is applicable to even AD patch in the previous versions that is in 12.1. So what are the contents of a patch zip file? Once you extract the zip file, remember that there is a first important thing you need to see that is readme.txt file. The readme.txt file contains not only the description of the patch but also the instructions which you have to follow. In most cases, Generally, the patch will not have much of an instructions. It will just say to apply the patch. It will provide the information of the patch. For example, the purpose of the patch, which product it's related to, etc. In some cases, it will say clearly that before applying the specific patch, you need to perform activities 1 and 2. Which means these are the prerequisite tasks you have to perform before applying the patch. So first you complete 1 and 2, the prerequisite tasks. Then only you can continue to apply the patch. There is a driver file called unified driver which is u patch number.drv and this driver file basically contains all the commands and instructions for ADOP. 
though you don't use this driver file completely yourself it is used by actually adop command so don't you should not be modifying this u driver file or it is really not required for you to go through the file because this file is used by adop command or the tool the patching tool to apply the patch and there are also product files in the previous slide we have seen that all the new features or bug fixes are copied are going to be get basically using new files and these files are copied by adop from the patch to ebs file system and these files are obviously there in the patch top so what we'll do now is we have basically 12 to 10 release update patch and this release update patch you can download from edelivery.oracle.com also and what i'm going to show you is now that one specific patch which you can just navigate through it and see what are different files that are there in the in the 12 to 10 release update so here i've already set the environment and what i'll do is i'll go to the location of this patch Usually all the patches before applying need to be kept in this location that is your FSNE, EBS apps and patch. So this is a patch which you can download from edelivery.oracle.com and once you log in, once you go to the specific patch number, you can see a lot of files here. The first important file as I told you before is readme.txt file and this readme.txt file basically contains the instruction for example saying that first you need to apply adtxk. 12 and this is a prerequisite task and you can see basically something called a driver file which is u patch number dot drv as i told before and then you also have lot of product related files for example you can see ap product account payables ar and let's say for example you have gl which is general ledger so similarly, all the product related files are also available in the patch directory. Remember that you don't have to really check any of these files or do anything with these files. The only thing you have to do is to simply execute adop command in order to apply the patch. The only file which you need to open in the patch directory is readme.txt file to understand about the patch or to follow any instructions that are required before applying the patch.